What's going on guys? It's Matt with No BS Beard Reviews. I've got something special for you today. It's special because I actually reviewed this company three years ago. That's right, three years ago I reviewed this company and they're still in business, so credit to them. I'm still here, I guess. That's a good thing, right? But that company I'm talking about is Barbu Beard Company. So if you're not familiar with Barbu Beard Company, they are based out of Miami, Florida. As I mentioned, they've been around for at least three years now. I think they're a little older than that, but they are headed up by an awesome guy by the name of Abraham. Um, definitely a small batch company doing things the right way, uh, using organic oils, using awesome butters and balms and creating all that. And so I'll drop their website below. It is barbubeardco.com. Um, let's jump into pricing real quick. Just want to talk to you about that before we jump in and talk about all everything. One ounce oil is going to be $18. A one ounce balm, that's right, they have their balms in a one ounce container. It varies from $10 to $11 depending on the scent. And then their two ounce beard butter goes for $18. And then these sweet hats I've got, one here, that goes for 25 I believe. I absolutely love that logo. It's probably one of my favorite logos in the beard game. They've also got some different accessories. So if you're into like EDC, everyday carry and stuff, absolutely recommend you check them out. They've got some special leather EDC items branded with that awesome Barbu logo. Um, he got some kind of little beard notes. I thought this was really unique. He sent this out. Um, comes with a little pencil here, a little like rubber band thing to hold it all together. But this is just so cool. It's got your beard notes. It's basically, it's a 48 page notebook. It's, you know, a blank notebook, but inside the cover there, they've got some really cool stuff. Different knots, different ways to tie knots. Uh, different SOS symbols, you know, their philosophy down there. Just really overall, really, really cool. And so let's jump into the scents. I've got three of them here. Um, before we actually talk about the scent, let's talk about the oils here. We've got organic sweet almond oil, organic jojoba seed oil, organic argon oil, organic grapeseed oil, vitamin E oil, and organic castor oil. And so again, all made down in Miami. Let's see if we can get that to dial in for you. And so first scent I've got here, this is the Governor. This is a scent I have been wanting to try ever since I first saw it come out. And so the scent for the Governor, it's actually inspired uh, by a guy named Chris Burnett. Um, based out of Virginia, so small world. Chris and I actually know some of the same people. I'm uh, born and raised up in the Northern Virginia area. He's down from like Southeastern, South Central Virginia, Lynchburg area. Uh, we actually have a common friend or two, I believe. And so this one here, it's a very complex scent. It really captures the essence of the American South. Um, it's got base notes of cedar, vetiver. Um, it's kind of a smoky, woodsy scent. But in front of all that, it's got peach. And it's not any, any peach scent I've ever smelled before. Uh, it's a really a nice, natural peach scent. It doesn't smell like it's a fake peach at all. What I love about it, you smell the peach up front. It kind of dissipates a little bit when you get it in a beard. But then throughout the day, you catch notes of this natural peach throughout the day. It's absolutely an amazing scent. Um, you also got some, a little bit of citrus in there with some bergamot uh, to spice things up. But overall, an excellent, excellent scent. This is what I, my favorite of the three scents I've got here. Oh, it's just so good. So, so good. I get a little bit of that vetiver. I, I love vetiver um, and that cedar. Oh, it is on point, that is for sure. Now, one thing I can't forget to mention, all of these oils I'm telling you about, Abraham has stepped up his merchandise game. He has come so far in the last three years since I originally 
reviewed his pirate oil. Um, he now makes t-shirts for every single one of these oils, I believe. You can get a custom t-shirt. Now, the best part of all of it, all right, guys, listen to this, come in close. The t-shirts are colored. They're not solid black, which is awesome. As somebody who has a ton of solid black beard company t-shirts now, I absolutely love it when I see colored shirts. And so I might actually pick up this governor shirt because it is such a cool thing. And again, Chris Bean from Virginia, got to rep that, awesome dude. And so that is the governor scent duration on everything I'm going to tell you about today. It's a good solid eight hours or so. Um, great, great scents. We'll throw some of this in beard here in a minute. Next up, I've got the Gaelic. And that actually comes in kind of that green frosted bottle there. And so the Gaelic actually was inspired by Brian Patrick. And I should mention, Brian and Chris are both part of the Barbu Barbudos team. That's kind of like his hand-picked, um, not influencers, but you know, kind of team members, brand ambassadors, I guess. Um, and so this was inspired by Brian, who goes by Bry. Um, but this is really their interpretation of an Irish coffee. And so typically, I'm not a big foodie guy. This is one of my favorite coffee scents, though. They took lots of different coffees and kind of mixed them together to come up with this scent. And so it's got the, the aroma of coffee in there. You've also got, I'm going to kill this. Um, I want to say amaretto. Yeah, amaretto liqueur in there as well which just gives it a nice sweetness. And then they balance it all out with a little bit of vanilla. Oh man, this reminds me, <laughs> it's gonna be funny. So right out of college when I was first working uh, down in DC, I'd run, this is before, like I bought my own coffee machine. I'd stop by 7-Eleven every morning, I'd go in and get my coffee. And I'd get those little Irish cream, um, Mr. Creamer, Mr. Coffee packets, little green ones. And I'd you know, dump four or five of those in there, not knowing the proper way to drink coffee at that point. You know, I just like that super sweet coffee. And that's exactly what this reminds me of, those early mornings going to 7-Eleven uh, before heading into work. Just a really nice scent. That amaretto really lifts this up. Oh, it's just a nice Irish coffee scent. A little bit of citrus in there too, I believe. Oh, that's a good one. Awesome scent. Really, really impressed with that one. I, I think I found a coffee scent I actually like. Um, it is very much an Irish coffee. It's not that dark black coffee, kind of that bitter scent. That's not this at all. This is a sweeter amaretto scent. And then last but not least for the oils, I've got a butter here to talk about as well. We've got the Jester. And the Jester was a fall scent from a few seasons back. And this is sweet orange, black, was it black pepper and apple? That's right. So. When I pop this open, oh man, that is fall. I, I've been wearing the heck out of this because it's hot as you know what here in South Carolina. And this, you know, promises me what's to come in like November. <laughs> That's when it finally starts to cool down here. Um, yeah, I get the citrus. I get that orange, the apple. When you get it in beard, you get a little bit of the black pepper that comes out. Oh man, this is... Kind of reminds me of like Halloween night or something like that, you know, just getting everything together, like apples, hay, um, cider, stuff like that. It's just a really nice balanced scent. Um, I don't get a lot of apple products and when I do, they really stand out to me. And you know, this is a really good one. And so I did have matching um, beard balms for the governor as well as the jester. I'll pop open the governor here again, a little one ouncer. Uh, ingredients on the balms are going to be beeswax, virgin unrefined shea butter, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, coconut oil, castor oil, 100% pure essential oils. It is organic and non GMO. And so this here, it's a little bit of a lighter balm, uh, more of like kind of a conditioning balm, but it's still. Yeah, I say that. That's actually got a little bit of firmness to get out. Melts down super smooth. Don't want to waste any of that. Again, I got that in that governor scent. Love that scent. 
Governor's got to be my favorite scent from Barbu. Highly recommend you check it out. It is complex. What I love about Barbu, they're not doing your plain Jane cigar scent, you know, a cigar vanilla, bourbon vanilla, you know, things like that. He is creating just some very unique scents you don't see anywhere else. And I love that. I love that creativity. Speaking of that, uh, I've got one of his butters here. This is the Dundee. And so the Dundee was actually created in conjunction. It was a relief effort. It was kind of a charity that was going on um, back when Australia was having all those wildfires. So they did this as a charity. And this was really, uh, it was based on some common sense in Australia. And so this one has got notes of Australian sandalwood and cypress, followed by top notes of eucalyptus and citrus. And so very unique. Uh, pop this open. I'm trying to, it reminds me of something. I get the eucalyptus right away. The cit it's like a eucalyptus citrus. When you get it in beard, the sandalwood and the cypress kind of mellow everything out. Oh, it reminds me of a different scent of smell in another type of men's product. I can't put my finger on it. Um, but in terms of the actual butter, let me get up in here and show you guys. Comes out smooth as can be, melts down really nice. Um, this really made my beard very, very soft. I've been impressed with this. I've actually been using this during the daytime. Um, since I don't have the matching oil for that, I've been mixing it with the apple, the jester, and that's a really nice combo there. I think I wanna mix it with the governor tomorrow. That might be a good, good combo to get together, but what can I say? It's been three years since I originally reviewed Barbu. Uh, again, go to barboobeardco.com. Abraham and I have talked throughout the years here and there. I mean, he's one of the few owners, like we hop on the phone and have talked and uh, which I think is pretty cool and uh, respect him very much. Uh, definitely would recommend. I don't think Barbu gets enough love. You know, if there was one of those companies that you know, you should try, but maybe you haven't heard of yet or you haven't tried out yet. I think it's Barbu. Uh, highly recommend you try out the Governor. This is an awesome scent. This will be in my top 10 cents of the year for sure. Faux show, as we say in Virginia. Faux show up in the Emporia area. Um, but great, great stuff. Give them a look. If you've tried Barbu before, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts as well. But as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Be safe.